Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Selenium Python training program. So today we are going to discuss about how to handle drop downs. Okay, so usually whenever you are working on any kind of a real time applications, we will encounter a situation where we need to change a value inside a drop down. Right. So let us create a simple program. How can I get or how can I select a value from a drop down? So in order to do so, um, let me show you the scenario. See on a same Bing.com page, we have these results a drop down or else results where in which it is having a multiple options. I need to write down a web driver program which will be changing down these options in a drop down. So here the scenario is the first scenario is use send a keys command and see whether we can change the value in drop down or not so i need to use a send keys command in order to do so the various steps are the first one is open the app open the browser this is one and the same identify the drop down property and uh, use a send keys a command and as an input to send keys pass a value which is existing in the drop down okay which is existing in the drop down so for this situation you know what i am doing means i'm creating my new test script so copy the existing script create a new program and give the name as a demo h i don't want to use other programs and i'm closing it and i don't want to use my previous script i deleted that so i just kept only the application opening and terminating and uh, here let me right click on my drop down and choose an inspect so whenever i choose an inspect it has an id property copy the id property go back to the program driver dot find element by id and i'm trying to use a send keys command and for the send keys you need to give a value which is already there in a drop down so the second option we have in a drop down is a 10 let me try passing 10 here and let me run my test script run demo h so whenever i am executing my test script let us see how this is going to work manually i maximize in my browser guys we will see how this is going to work see 10 got updated in a drop down so the bottom line is we can use a send keys a command in order to select a value from a drop down okay we tried it and it's executing successfully and the next way is in web driver we have a select a class using which we can select a value from the drop down okay in a web driver we have a select a class using which you can select a value from a drop down so what i'm going to do right now is we need to create an object to the select a class so let me copy the existing test scripts and paste it in a new program and i am naming it as a demo 9 in the ninth program see this is what driver dot find element is my drop down information so i'm storing my drop down information in a dd variable as of now dd contains in future wherever i'm using dd means it's a drop down information itself okay it's a drop down information itself dd now what i am going to do right now means select of dd and store it in a s is equal to okay select select is a class basically and uh, it is throwing an error message whenever you mouse over on this uh, select import uh, this name and uh, here it is displaying uh, more options so under this uh, import of uh, this name it is uh, giving a lot of uh, suggestions i know that my select class is uh, from selenium so what i am doing means manually on top of my test scripts from selenium web driver we have a support okay we have a support and in that support there is a selector class import the selector class here okay import the selector class here okay 
that's a straightforward thing or else it's a uh, selenium support and from the support import the selector class under selenium uh, selenium we have a web driver in which you have a support from there we are trying to import the selector class and now whenever you mouse over on this okay select s okay select so whenever you mouse over on this you know uh, this is how we have a created now s dot see i'm not getting any auto suggestions related to this select a class i can confirm that this was not successfully imported again to cross check what i am doing means get see not even a suggestions are coming out over here so this means the selector class is not imported so select and here i'm trying to use this selector class here and whenever i am trying to use this selector class cannot find a reference in a select cannot find a reference in a select create a function module i don't want to create that see somehow we are using a wrong instance of the selected class let's debug this and identify what is the root cause behind this one okay so the issue what i have done right now is i haven't imported it successfully under the support you have a ui class from the ui import this select class and create an object now s dot if you observe all the select options are getting displayed select by index select by value select by visible text select by index so every option in the drop down has a unique index okay every option in the drop down has a unique index if we want to select first value in the drop down then we need to give index as a zero and if we want to select second value from the drop down then we need to give index as one like that we need to pass on the index in my situation let us see how many values are there one two three four five i would like to select the third value so zero one Two. So if I give index as a two, it was supposed to select a 15 from the drop down. So go back here, select by index two. Let me try to run my test script, and in my execution, it should select 15 from the drop down. Let us see how this is going to work. Scroll down to that object. See, 15 got selected from the drop down successfully. This is one option, and another option is s dot select by value so each and every option in the drop down has a value property see select a class every option in the drop down is starting with the tag name as an option and moreover it has an individual value property so what i am doing means in the value it is having a 50 so option value as a 50 now let me try to run my script in this execution as we have a given value property as a 50 it should select the value 50 from the drop down see in this instance 50 got selected from the drop down good enough and the last method we have in order to select a value from a drop down is select by visible text see here uh, auto is having a visible text so i am copying the text from the browser and I am giving it as an input select by visible text. Now, when I run my test script at this time, it should select auto. But one thing we can observe here is by default, that value is an auto which it got a selected. There is no specific difference we observed here. But this is the way how to use a select class in order to get the values or in order to select the values so among all these things we have a few more options if you scroll down and study all the options we have options a method s dot options i don't know what exactly these options is going to do so what i am doing means p1 so whatever this options a method is getting i'm storing the result in a p1 and now print p1 
Okay, I'm just using this print p1. When I run my test script and let us see what exactly this p1 is returning to the console. I don't know what exactly these options is. Let us see here. See, it returned some web elements, web element information. And how many info it got returned? One, two, three, four, five. See here, five different sessions got retrieved and printed to the console. So it means, what I can understand means, options is a command. By looking into the print value, I understood that options is a command which will capture all the values in the drop down and it will store in a variable that's fine so as of now when we use a print statements it is a printing all the web elements but my requirement is i want to print text from all the objects okay so in order to do so in order to get the data from all the objects then we need to use a for loop okay so we have already studied about a for loops in python so for space i'm using a variable element in where we have all these values in p1 see p1 is a list whenever you have a defined like that this will be rotating on all the data present in a p1 and now what it's going to do right now means element dot okay element dot get underscore attribute okay of the value so we are trying to get the value and we are trying to store it in a p2 and the print p2 so let me try to run my test script and see what exactly it is returning to the console. And here we use element dot get attribute method. Run as a demo nine. Okay, I'm just executing this demo nine. Let us see what it is printing to the console, whether it is printing the output or printing the error messages. See here, it's still printing this stuff itself, which is the web elements okay so it printed both the stuffs guys so somewhere we are using this web element it's printing okay see here we have a for loop it has a print and even it has this print p1 print p1 is a printing all the web elements and the for loop is a printing all the values so i don't want this print p1 it is confusing let me comment this line and let me rerun my program so whenever I executed my program, so finally what it returned means get attribute is a command which is getting the attribute value. See all the values in the drop down it got a printed to the console. Okay, get attribute is a command which is capturing a specific attribute for that object. So whatever the value see here attribute of a value see for the first value it has a minus 1 10 15 30 50 these are the options see minus 1 10 15 30 50 got retrieved and printed to the console like this we can get text from the drop down and we can print it to the console this is the way how can we use this particular drop down and what are all the various operations we can perform on a drop down see you can use a select a class and using any one of these three options we can select a value from a drop down and we can use this option in order to get all the values from a drop down okay that's it and using a for loop we are printing that information so this is the way how to deal with drop down guys so that's all i have for now see you again in the next session bye bye